Hi, today we're going to be talking about cultural differences between families. So you want to bring up your family with, in a, with a particular value system and enjoying certain things, and yet your step-family relations have a completely different approach to life and a different culture and bring it into your home. Hi, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and I'll let you know every time I post. What to do about culture clashes in step families when you are bringing up your own children in a particular way, but when the stepchildren come to visit, they have entirely different values and can influence your children. This, I think, is one of the most testing and trying challenges that can be presented in a step family. Because the way we bring up our children is so very, very precious to us. We may want our children to love the outdoors and develop an interest in sports, or we may want our children to develop an interest in culture or follow things that we like to do. But in come these stepchildren who are much older and have been brought up in an, possibly in an entirely different way and they can lead your children to be wanting to do other things. And this can be desperately, desperately upsetting. I know. But one of the things as a step parent you can't do is change what is. So this is where the challenge comes because you can't set about changing everything so that things are right for your children. It's more about accommodating what is, uh, damage limitation on the effects the children can have on yours and using the situation to be able to make the most of it and use it to teach your children what they do and don't want. I mean, it is really difficult when you've got a different set of children in your home on a regular basis who don't think like you and adhere to the values that you would like. Believe me, there's not much more that, that could get worse than that because every day they're with you and every moment they're with you, they're reminding you about how different they are. However, we all live in a community and a neighborhood and a district. And there are other influences on our own children too. They get influenced by children at school, teachers, neighbors, people in the community all the time. You can't stop external influence happening. When the external influence comes from a couple of children who may come and visit very regularly who are slightly older, it is more difficult to manage because it's in your home and in your face, so to speak, the entire time. But you are where you are and the situation is what it is. So my recommendation to you is to not fight it, not fight it, but let the situation be as it is and understand it for what it is and then see what you can do to organise it differently. 
you know, there may be quite a lot you can do constructively if you've recognised the situation for what it is and you understand what's going on and you can sort it out. I'm talking about things like there may be, you can schedule things so that the visiting children come when you take your children out or your children go to activities at times the older children are there or maybe you organise activities for the older children while they're with you. Scheduling, planning, anticipating, working things out, keeping to time helps. Then the other thing is to not see the other, two, the other children's influences as all negative. They might be negative in some respects, but there may be things that the stepchildren bring to the family and the home that are good and are advantages. And sometimes those are difficult to see if you're just blocking out your mind with all the negative stuff and how you don't want it and how you don't like it the way it is. Step back from that and see what the advantages are. I mean, maybe the stepchildren are loud and um, like laughing a lot and, um, you know, muck around a lot. I mean, that can be really irritating if they're flamboyant and, um, and uh, sort of always self-promoting in some way, for example. But then there are advantages to that too. I mean, bringing humour into the house seeing their exhibitionism as a way of being able to express themselves and see what you can take as advantages from them, even if at heart there's a lot you don't like. And thirdly, the thing that you can do when you don't like another group of people's influence in your home is to use it as a learning lesson for your own two children. There can be no better than to have a couple of people in your home whom you, for whatever reason, don't particularly agree with what they're doing. And you don't have to criticise them or speak ill of them while you teach your children. But you can use the lessons they bring into the home to talk to your children about whether or not they would make the same choice. Was it a good idea that your, that your stepchild did this? What alternatives did they have? What would the likely outcome be if they'd done something differently? What does it mean because of what they've chosen to do now? Does it mean that they're going to have to cope with? Um, and you can gradually use the lessons that your stepchildren bring into the house for your own children and then when they get to the same stage in life that your stepchildren are then they will be better equipped to make the decisions for themselves and possibly different ones from the ones that your stepchildren have made. Listen, I'm not saying that this is easy this is about compromise and making the best of it. But you are where you are and what is, is what is. So you have to work with it to take from it the advantages that it gives. It takes huge tolerance from you. Don't forget to self-nurture yourself so you can keep on doing it. But ultimately, you can make the best of it and time moves on and your children may be better for having had these other influences in your house all along even though it's something that you would you would really not have chosen for it to be like this i run workshops sessions we have an email response service. We write booklets. Links to my website and social media are in the description box below.